Welcome back to my channel. This is Tamara from Nacho Tarot, and I'm here to do an unboxing um, of these two decks that just came in the mail. Uh, I removed the, you know, the plastic foil just because I don't want to waste time with that. But yeah, um, I have a lot of decks, and and I'm not, you know, just buying decks for whatever reasons but I've been looking at at these two decks for a while now and they're they look super cheesy and they remind me of the of the like you know practical magic movie and of the you know 90s kind of witchcraft um, scene basically so I like that I like that I like some of that nostalgic vibe in my in my practice as well so yeah that's that so these two are obviously by the same um, artist and the same uh, author I'm not gonna try to pronounce their name but you can see it here this is Witch's Wisdom Oracle cards and this is the Witch's Kitchen Oracle cards now let's start with the Witch's Wisdom Witch's Wisdom I got because I thought that this would be a great deck to just you know uh oh yeah I, I even haven't read this on on the back but yeah this is basically why it explains the reason why i got this deck so do you sense anticipation at the prospect of re-engaging with the wisdom of the old ways each card will speak to you of methods spells and magic that connects you with the elements mystical realms and spirit to bring about a more powerful sense of positivity and change in your life. These cards can be used by a seasoned witch or one who's dabbling in the path of the wise. Venture down the, this magical avenue and draw upon ancient wisdom that is still relevant today. So yeah, you're gonna see. I haven't seen all the cards, but I feel like this deck could be used for like, you know, Getting some ideas or, or directions um, when it comes to you know practicing. If if you just feel like you want to do something but you you you're not sure what exactly, I think this is you know. Or like if you want to like if you know what you want to do, you know what your intention is, but you don't know yet which method per perhaps you want to choose to you know manifest whatever you want to manifest let's say i think this is a good deck so here's the little book let's just see okay so there's like quite a lot for one card i expected there to be less um of a card's description so you have huh so you have a little like a spell chant thingy going on I like that. And then, which is wisdom, which is like a divinatory, I think. Huh. This is cool. Okay. And in the beginning, let's see. I like that. You have a little bit of an introduction, sample spreads, of course, how to use a deck, pentagram spread, nice. And then they go straight into the descriptions. Yeah, simple, I like that. I think there isn't anything. Oh, there are like books by the author. author. Um, yeah, but that's it, simple, I like it. Okay, so it has silver gilding. Let's take this little slip off. They're not stuck together too badly. Hmm. Okay. Well, the cardstock is kind of shit. I'm gonna be honest. The cardstock is thin, but yeah, fuck it. I'm not bothered that much by cardstock unless it's like super horrible. And this is like this is on on you know 
almost there, but still, I, I don't mind. It's not like it's a it's a an expensive deck or anything. Okay, so here we go. So this is air imagination. So I'm guessing it has all the um, elements: altar, dedication, ancestors, remembrance. Oh, I like this card. Athame, boundaries. Belting, fertility. Book of Shadows, secret. I like it. Broomstick, clearance. So see what I'm, I'm trying to say? If you like, if you don't know how to go about something or if you want to do something magical, but you, you're not sure what to do, like this card might indicate, you know, you, do, you can do some cleansing and stuff like that. Or maybe you can make yourself a besom. Um, candles, magic, cauldron, containment, cloak. Oh, there's one more. Okay. Chalice, fulfillment, cloak, concealment, earth. Grounding, so yeah, um, I think we do have all the elements. Okay, just checking. Familiar, guardian. Oh, look at the little kitty and the froggy, so cute. Fire, passion, yes. Hand fasting, union. Hearth, homecoming. Herbal kitchen, yes, look at this, these two match. Ah, oh, awesome, I haven't noticed this before. <laughs> That's awesome, I love it. Uh, alchemist, yes. Hex, banishment, I like this. I like that it's not all, you know, just, you know, that you have some maleficarum, you know. High Priestess, High Priest, Responsibility. I appreciate this as I'm a High Priestess myself. Homeland, Foundation. I like this. Working with the land. Imbolc, Awakening. Lady, Goddess. Letha, Intensification. Yes, I like this. That's a good description for Letha. Lord, God. Yes, Pan, goodness. Lunasa, prosperity. My bond, balance. Magic circle, protection. Moon, cycles. Stara, incubation, I like that. Pentacle, respect. Ritual, invocation. Definitely giving me some craft vibes, you know. Samhain, death. Scrying mirror, shadow. Oh, there's a there's a man in there. Yes, that's nice. I like it. Spell manifestation. Ooh, <laughs> eye of newt and toe frog. What is this? Foot of bat and tongue of dog. Adders. Fork and blind worms. I don't know what. Yeah, but this is good. I like it. <laughs> it's probably from Shakespeare or something. Spirits. Initiation. Ooh, I like this one. Staff. Stability. Tarot cards. Guidance. Oh, and they're actually like using these cards in it. That's so cute. Wand. Intention. Watchtower of the East, Spring, Is there? Okay. Watchtower of the North, Winter, 
Watchtower of the South, Summer. Watchtower of the West, Autumn. Water, Cleansing. Wiccan Read, Ethos. See, now I don't follow the Wiccan Read because I'm not a Wiccan, but I do appreciate this card as, you know, um, being symbolic of one's morals, of, one, of one's etiquette, or of one's, you know, principles. Because everybody has their own, you know, um, principles by which they do their work. Witch Healer. I like this. Witch's Cottage Security. I love this. Oh, so cute and cozy. I think there's a little witchy you know, cooking up a spell. Witch's Hat Power. Yes. You Rebirth. And here we are. I like this. This is the back. As I said, a little bit cheesy, but I appreciate it. Let's go to the next one. Same thing. I expect the booklet is gonna be the same. Very similar in terms of layout. Oh, nice. There's like a little blessing for the kitchen, for the witch's kitchen. I like that. Introduction. Oh, there's a cauldron spread. I like that. And there we are with a card, you know, with the card um, meanings. So there's also a little like spell, chant, something, little, little thing there. And then you have guidance from each plant or, you know, um, kitchen, which is kitchen element, I'm guessing. Ooh, there's a recipe. I like that. I like that. Because, you know, I'm really into plants and herbalism and I work a lot with plants on various different levels. So I appreciate this and I look forward to this. Okay. Let's see. Take off the little slit. This one as well comes with the silver gilding, which looks surprisingly untouched. Let's see. Cards are a little bit stick together, or stuck together even. But I just do this and they're fine usually, more or less. Okay, aloe vera. And as I've noticed with these cards, they all have the same background if you can tell but it's like it's a witch's kitchen and then there's the like the table or the counter where the ingredients or the things are so yeah aloe vera soothe apple forbidden and i love that they have like different variations of the thing you know because I'm guessing, you know, yeah, you have some cider, you have some apple pie, you have some fresh apples, um, you know, all the good stuff. Arnica. See, like you have Arnica gel, Arnica balm, <laughs> Arnica oil, all the good stuff. Recovery. Basil, reconciliation. Bay leaves, abundance, blackberry, invasive, black pepper, banishment, catnip, bond, chamomile, relax, chili pepper, ferocity. Or ferocity I don't know how you pronounce that but excuse my Balkan pronunciation <laughs> chocolate aphrodisiac mm -mm. love that cinnamon reignite 
Close, Gossip, Coriander, Immortality, Cumin, Faithfulness, Dandelion, Wishes, Echinacea, Fortify, it's good for fortifying your immune system. Elderflower, Warding, Eucalyptus, Breathe, Garlic, Repel, I love the little kitchen, Ginger, Power, Hemp, Expansion, love it, Honey, Ambrosia, Lavender, Sleep, and this is legit what my kitchen looks like when I'm drying my herbs, <laughs> Lemon, Bitterness, hmm, that's interesting, because lemon isn't bitter, but it's sour, right, so, hmm, gotta look into the, into the, um, little booklet maybe that they, they they intended to you know for it to say like sourness but they put bitterness okay mandrake impassive i don't even know what that word means i'm gonna have to look at the at the booklet milk thistle intrusion Mints, clarity, mugwort, intuition, yes, mustard, faith. It's gonna make me hungry. <laughs> Nettle, caution, yes. Nutmeg, luck. Olive, peace. Onion, tears, okay, okay. I love onion dough, makes everything delicious. Parsley, death, hmm, okay, hmm. Now I'm really intrigued. <laughs> Patchouli, purpose, rose, romance. Rosemary, memories, of course. Rosemary enhances your memory, improves your, like, brain functions. <laughs> Sage, purification, of course. Salt, protection. Seaweed, prediction. Okay. St. John's Wort, Dispirited, okay, Sugar, Sweetness, Tea Tree, Binding, Thyme, Courage, Turmeric, Diversity, I like it. Witch Hazel, Sensitivity, yes, Witch Hazel is a great cleanser, you know, for the skin, and tonic as well. Yarrow, Expulsion, Aloe Vera, Soothe, so I think now we're full circle, yes. So there you go, this is the back. Excuse me, of course I dropped the camera, but it doesn't matter. Let's see the decks together. It's gonna be a bit difficult to do, but there you go. These are the two decks, and I think they're pretty cute, and I'm looking forward to working with them. The cards are exactly the same size, the same card stock. Actually, are they? Hmm. 
No, they're not. Huh. Okay. So the Witch's Kitchen seems to be a better quality or like a little bit thicker cardstock. Let's compare. I think there's the same number of cards. So the thickness should be the same. Let's see. Let's see. Yep. I think that, you know, it's going to be difficult to show on camera. But the Witch's Wisdom is on the right, this one here. And it's just a, like a slightly, slightly thinner cardstock. But, you know, whatever. Doesn't bother me. So, okay. That's it. Thank you for joining me for my unboxing. If you want to hear my, you know, review, actually, I've went after I've worked with these two decks for a while, let me know in the comments and I will be glad to record that for you. I know I'm not, you know, posting often, but I am hoping for that to change with a lot of changes, you know, happening in my life currently. Um, but I am much more uh, present on my Patreon where I share a lot of content on tarot cards and working with tarot, tarot spreads, as well as hosting my 78 pieces of tarot study every year um, and uh, sharing a lot of witchcraft related content, um, actual spells, rituals and stuff like that. And of course, answering all of your questions and hanging out with you live every month. So yeah, if you want to join my Patreon, check it out. The link is going to be down in the description box. Thank you so much and many blessings. Bye.